What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, ToneandTitan.com, sharing with you today seven of my favorite exercises that you can do every single day to improve your functional strength. Let's get into them right now. All right, you guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. I'm excited to be able to share a little bit of what I know with you. Hope it helps you guys out. If it does, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Now, last week, I actually shot a video that was all about the best stretches that you should do every single day to improve your mobility, to improve your range of motion. If you want to check that one out, click the link down below. It's also floating around up here right now. But a lot of you in the comments to that video have said, okay, mobility is great. This really helps. Is this all I need to do? Or maybe even some of you said, well, what about the strength aspect of it? And really, as a physical therapist, the majority of problems that I encounter in my clinic are either due to a lack of mobility, again, which we kind of addressed with last week's video, or a lack of strength, which I decided, hey, what a great follow-up, what a great opportunity. Let's share with you some of those exercises in this week's video. And so that's what we're all about. That's what we're doing right now today. Now it's important, I wanna make one distinction very clear. These are exercises that are geared towards functional strength. Now, when I say functional strength, I mean we're going to be working every major muscle group at least a little bit with these exercises. If you're here for mass gains, if you're here for strength, if you're here for hypertrophy, you're in the wrong place. These are going to be more functional exercises. We're just going to improve strength to the point where you become just a little bit more functional. There's not gonna be any weights, there's not gonna be any equipment, Therefore, there's not going to be what we call a progressive overload. I'm not going to be increasing the resistance while decreasing the reps in order to promote hypertrophy and mass and strength, strength gains, things of that nature. And you should be able to do these things every day because there's not that progressive overload. These ones are safe to do every day. My goal is to show you some everyday exercises that you can do to hopefully become a little stronger, a little healthier, and a little more functional overall. As I run you through these today, I'm gonna to take kind of a top-down approach. We're gonna start kind of neck, upper back, we're gonna get into chest, shoulders, arms, core, and then finally finish lower back and hips. And so the first exercise that I love, the first exercise that I feel like we should do every day are going to be what we call scapular pinches or scapular retraction. This is great. Those of you who might be experiencing neck or upper back pain, this is kind of my bread and butter, this one's for you. What you're going to do is just simply stand upright and then squeeze your shoulder blades together and then also try to pull them down. And so you're gonna retract your shoulder blades together, squeeze those muscles between your shoulder blades and also try to pull them down. If you can visualize, what I want you to do is try to tuck your right shoulder blade down into your left pocket, your left shoulder blade down into your right pocket. That's kind of the visualization that I want with this. So pinch your shoulder blades together, kind of tuck it down and back, hold for about two to three seconds, three sets of 10 is your first exercise. Scap pinches helps with posture, helps with neck pain, helps with upper back pain. It's a great exercise that you need to be doing. Now, if you find that a little bit too easy, your progression would be to take that down to the floor and actually do it anti-gravity. Now, to do that, what you're going to do is lay down on your stomach with your arms out to the side with your elbows bent. The visualization here, what I want you to try to do is extend your chest up off of the floor and then tuck your elbows down into your pockets. You're gonna hold that one for two to three seconds and then return to the starting position. This is another great exercise. Again, kind of the progression to the scapular pinches. We make it a little harder. We do it anti-gravity, but we're also using a lot more of our spine extensors. As our back is extending up towards the ceiling, it just kicks on a lot more of the spinal extensors, these muscles that we just don't work very much throughout our day. Great exercise for neck pain, upper back pain. I even give this one to quite a few shoulder pain patients as your elbows are kind of up in that position and as you're pulling them back, you're externally rotating them. We're working those external rotator muscles that are a lot of times weak and a lot of times responsible for a lot of the shoulder pain that we're experiencing. So there's exercise number two is going to be that prone extension, those prone scap pinches. My last exercise for your upper back is going to be what we call a wall angel. 
probably one of my favorite home exercises, one that I give to patients all the time, just because it's so good for posture, and it's also so good for muscle knots. Now, I do have these in some other videos that I've shot. If you're looking to improve kind of your forward head, rounded shoulders posture, click on this link right up here. It's floating up there right now. If you need something that is going to help you to decrease muscle knots in your neck and shoulders, this is the video that I want you to click on right here. But let me show you how to do these wall angels. You're gonna come up to a wall. I want your butt, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head up against the wall. Your arms externally rotate until you get your knuckles back to the wall. And then you're going to hold those points of contact as you slide your knuckles up and over your head and then back down to that starting position. What we're going for here, you should feel that between your shoulders and again in the back kind of back of your shoulder blades those external rotators those are the muscles that are going to keep you in this nice tight position while you're doing your wall angels what I do here is again I'm gonna set for a shoot for about a set of 10 we're gonna do 10 to 20 reps we're gonna repeat that one three times and those are your wall angels those are all your upper back exercises now we can't have a body weight exercise video on here without talking about the push-up probably one of my personal favorite body weight exercises of all time. Great for the chest, great for the shoulders, great for the triceps as we're extending. You can do it anytime, you can do it anywhere. Push-ups are your next exercise. Get down on the floor, a full push-up is gonna be out on your toes. With your hand position, the narrower your hands, that means the in tighter underneath you they are, the more they're gonna work your triceps. Here, I've elected to go a little bit wider, just a little wider than your shoulders. You're gonna keep a nice tight core, keep your stomach sucked in tight as you lower your chest down towards the ground. And then again, using the chest, using the shoulders, using those triceps to push back to that upright position. Now, if the full push-up is too difficult, drop into the modified push-up, just bend your knees so your knees are on the ground and you're doing push-ups in that position. So from your on your knees, with your hands on the ground, doing the push-ups. Again, the tighter the elbows, the more triceps, the more out to the side your, your elbows are, the more they're going to work the chest. And so what I like to tell people is shoot for 10 reps, and then we're gonna repeat that three times, but obviously go up in number if you can. Three sets of even about 20 reps is gonna be ideal for push-ups. All right, let's get into some core work. Probably my favorite exercise for core muscle activation is going to be the plank. We've got four abdominal muscles. This one, if done correctly, is gonna work all of those. So let's get into a plank. To do that, what I like to do is get down on your elbows and toes, you lift your hips up off of the floor, and then you hold that position. Now with this, I want you to maintain a nice neutral spine position, meaning I don't want your back to arch too far one way or the other. Your butt shouldn't be up in the air, but you shouldn't be rounded in your lower back either. You're going to hold this nice static position. Now here's the bonus. I said it works all of your core muscles. It only does that if you suck your belly button in. So you're in this, this nice plank position. Now what I want you to do is try to suck your belly button into your spine. What that does is actually activate your deepest abdominal layer. That's your transverse abdominus muscle. That's your deepest abdominal layer that's going to work that layer in addition to the other kind of more superficial layers as you're down in this plank position. I tell people a good way to start is try to hold it for about 20 seconds and then progress to 30 seconds, even 40 seconds, and then you're going to do that three times. So about three times 20, 30, 40, even up to 60 seconds is what we're going to shoot for with the planks. Now, if you need a killer workout that is plank only, really intense, we're gonna throw a lot of different variations on a plank at you. This is the one that I want you to click on right here. There's also a link to it down in the description below. Eight minute plank workout here on Tone and Titan. You guys are really gonna like that one. Now we get to the lower body. And if I'm going to pick one lower body exercise that I love as far as function, as far as strength, as far as kind of biggest bang for your buck, working the most muscle groups, it's going to be a squat. This one, we're activating a ton of hip, we're activating a ton of quad, requires a lot of balance. The calves, the ankles are active with this. Probably my favorite lower body body weight exercise you can do, an air squat or a squat. Let me show you how to do it. You're gonna stand with your feet a little wider than your hips. Your toes are out slightly. I want you to try to keep the weight back on your heels. Now, what I want you to do is hinge at your hips and lower your butt down towards the floor. The goal is to get to where your thighs are parallel to the floor and then stand right back up. I want you to squeeze your butt. I want you to squeeze your quads to return up to that starting position. 
Try to keep your weight back on your heels and try to keep your knees back behind your toes. I don't want your knees to get out in front of your toes. That really increases the compressive forces in your knees and just puts a lot more stress on there than there needs to be. Now, if you can't get down to thighs parallel to the floor, I want you to simply go down as low as you can with each one of these squats. Now, a good number to shoot for here would be 10 reps. Repeat that three times. Again, if that's too easy for you, jump up into the 20, even 30 rep range and try to repeat that one three times. Finally, exercise number seven is going to be bridges. I see a lot of patients who come in complaining of low back pain. What we find during the evaluation is that their glutes are super weak and their lower back and spinal extensors are super weak. This is my go-to exercise for those problems. We're gonna work a ton of glute, we're gonna work a ton of lower back with this. Let's show you how to do some bridges. Lay down on your back with your knees bent. Contract your glutes and use that contraction to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. When you're up there, I like to hold that for about a two second count and then slowly return back to the starting position. Now, a lot of people will say their hamstrings cramp up with this one. It tells me that they're a little more hamstring dominant, that they're able to contract the hamstrings more than the glutes and lower back. Your first move should be to squeeze your butt together. I want you to contract your glutes. I want you to use your butt muscles. I want you to use your glutes and your hips to raise your pelvis up off of the floor, up towards the ceiling. Hold it up there again for about a two to three second count, and then lower it nice and slow back down towards the ground. Uh, you guessed it on this one. Your goal is to shoot for 10 reps and to do that three times. Don't feel limited by the 10 rep range. If you can get to 20, 30 reps, and if you can do that three times, it's going to be all that much better for you. All right, you guys. So there you have them. Seven of my favorite body weight exercises that you can do every day to improve your overall functional strength. Again, we went head to toe. We worked every major muscle group in the body. Doing those every day is going to improve your strength. It's going to improve your function. I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also take this chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan right here on YouTube. I'd love to see you back here for future videos. Hit that subscribe button down below. Now, if you have any questions or comments about anything that we covered in this video, or even suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. I'll get to those just as soon as I can. And until next time, you guys, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan. We'll